Since 2009, staff and students from the Resource, Environment and Food Security Centre at China Agricultural University in Beijing have been leaving the city to work and live in villages to create what they call science and technology backyards. They want to promote more efficient use of fertiliser and other resources used by China's smallholder farmers by living and working alongside the farmers to promote high yield and high efficiency crop management. In some places, usually where the farm sizes are very small, as here in central China, groups of two or three students live in villages, often in an outbuilding in the village leader's house. Each group focuses on the different types of farming practiced locally. For some, the focus is on mechanisation and reducing the drudgery in the wheat maize production system there. Elsewhere, it's supporting the winter wheat, summer maize and watermelon cropping system. In another village, the focus is on improving the quality of the fruit and improving the soil through mulching techniques. In an old women's science and technology backyard, the focus is not just on farming practices, but also on improving social life, such as through encouraging dancing together. In northeast China, some students live together in specially built facilities. Here the farms are a bit larger and maize is a major crop. But the students are both a resource for local farmers to use to answer questions and give advice and they also do field experiments with leader farmers in the farmers fields to promote better resource use and higher yields. Here for example by looking at optimum planting density for maize. They also experiment with the use of new technology such as drones to map and spray crops. They spread the word about these through meetings, roadside posters and farmer field schools. The students say it took a while for the farmers to trust them at first because the farmers thought they were salespeople coming to sell them things. But as farmers saw that they were really there to help, trust levels grew. And for many city-born students, it was often tough at first to get used to the rural village environment, but they seem to have thrived on the experience. A key element for them is to keep a daily diary about what they've done and learned. Cutting input use in China is important as there's a great overuse of fertiliser. Making farming more efficient in its use of resources such as water is also vital but a major challenge is to look beyond current production systems at more diverse, ecologically sound practices that build on the long-standing Chinese experience of sustainable farming systems. One example here is looking at leaving plant residues on the land after harvest to reduce soil erosion, help control weeds, reduce water loss and increase organic matter in the soil. For healthy soils, underpin sustainability.